Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about what's probably one of the most important and also the most overlooked things and that is how to set up your Instagram for your dropshipping store. All right guys, so like I said, it's probably one of the most important things but also the most overlooked because um, the Instagram is literally the first point of contact that you have with your customers, especially if uh, you're doing the Instagram influencer technique like what I talked about. So let's jump into the computer. I'm gonna show you a few examples as well as some things to look for and things to actually do when you're setting up your Instagram. So let's go. So why is having a good Instagram actually important? Well, uh, there's a few reasons, but number one, it's, it's literally the, um, the door to your business, okay? Let's see if I can spell this. To your business, okay. Okay, it's the front door to your business. It's the first thing that people see, especially if you're doing the Instagram influencer thing. Now, there's ways that you can get around it. You can just do like a link in bio or whatever, um, you know, when you're doing an ad. But in most cases, uh, the, the advertiser, the, whatever the page is that's advertising your ad, is actually gonna link back to your, uh, either tag you or link back to your uh, dropshipping store or dropshipping Instagram. So you're gonna wanna make sure that it's on point because if it's not, if it doesn't look professional, if it looks scammy, if it looks just like cheesy, then people will drop off and they won't actually go to your site to be able to um, you know, buy. So it's just an entire waste of money. And there's some simple things that we can do to fix it, okay? The other reason is because uh, you can get free traffic, okay? And how so? Well, basically, if you have good content, people like to follow pages that have good content, that have good quality photos, that have you know maybe funny captions, whatever it is, people like to follow that. So if you have good quality photos, good quality content, and you're hashtagging, you're ranking for hashtags, all that kind of stuff, the, which I'm not gonna necessarily talk about how to gain followers in this video, it's more about how to actually set it up, but um, you can actually get free traffic, which I do on a consistent basis. I gain about, you know, between 50 to 75 followers per day um, just through running shout outs and just natural, uh, you know, natural traffic that comes through, uh, you know, me ranking in hashtags. So that's 50 to 75 potential new customers that I get every single day that have potential to see my products. Now, I'm not advertising a product very much at all. I only advertise a product maybe once a week. Okay, and I only advertise it for like six hours and then I take it back down, okay? Because I don't want ads all over my all over my page. But whenever I do that, I usually get like two sales just strictly off of that. And guys, I only have like 7,000 followers, which I know is a lot, but it's not a lot in the grand scheme of things, okay? So you can get some sales just through the free traffic that you generate um, you know, by having followers on your page. Now, um, what, what are some signs of a good Instagram, okay? Uh, what are some things that you wanna look for, some things that most good Instagrams have? Well, number one, and this is the first thing that people are gonna see is um, you need to have a good size following, okay? You need to have a good size following. If you are following like 500 people and you only have 37 followers, it's gonna look like a scam. It's gonna look like you're not a legitimate business. If you're following, or if you're following like 32, but you only have like 100 followers, you still look like a scam. You don't look like a legitimate business because legitimate businesses should have, um, you know, a good amount of following. So if you have like a thousand, fifteen hundred, twenty thousand followers, uh, people will want to follow that because there's more people that are following it. Okay, it's kind of like the whole psychology of fear of missing out, that kind of thing. So make sure that you have a solid following that's that's going out. So. There's a few ways that you can grow it. Again, I talk, I told you that I'm not going to talk necessarily about how to grow a following. However, if you want to get uh, you know followers fast, what you can actually do is just buy some on eBay. Just type in like uh, you know buy 2,000 followers on on eBay, and you can usually buy them for like five to seven dollars. So it's not that expensive. But the only reason you're going to do this, and I want to clarify this because I don't want people you know commenting about it. But basically, the reason you're going to do it is only for the social proof to show that other people are following it. You're not going to do it to gain customers. You're not going to do it for engagement. You're not going to do it for anything else other than the simple number of followers that you have on your page. That's the only reason you're doing it, okay? So number one, make sure you have a good size following. Number two is make sure that the content is solid, okay? If the content is not solid, it doesn't matter how many followers you have, people are not gonna follow the page because people want to follow pages that are solid, that pe that you know they wanna look at on a daily basis because they're gonna get flooded with photos from your page, um, ideally, if uh, they're following you. So make sure that the content is good, okay? That being said, let's jump into some examples and I'll show you some examples of what's good and what's bad. Um, 
in similar niches. So, you know, let's just jump into it. Okay, so the first one, I see this all the time, is people advertising like free watches, free yoga pants, free, you know, whatever it is. And they set up this Instagram account and they put like three photos that are stock photos of whatever the product is, okay? So we got like, you know, two stock photos and like this random, um, you know, photo that's not even good on this page um, with only 142 followers and following 236, okay? To me, does this look like a scam? Yes. To you, does it look like a scam? Probably, and I'm sorry if any of these stores that I'm talking about um, are yours. Um, I'm not meant to, it's not meaning to like, you know, uh, kind of call you out or anything. It, if anything, it's meant to help you out. So, um, huh. if anything, it's meant to help you out. So, anyways, yeah, so this looks like a scam because the content's not good, also the followers are not good. Let's go to another example. So many people are in the free watch niche, are in you know some the watch niche in general, and this is what a lot of the Instagram accounts look like. I'd say a good like seventy percent of watch Instagram accounts that claim to do like the free watch thing are looking like this. It's just stock photos. Um, you know, this doesn't even fill the frame. Um, so stock photos or like this, you know, and these people have seven hundred five followers, which you know is okay. It's decent. Um, but you look at the engagement, it's like 12 likes, 8 likes, you know, 16, 5. They're not getting good engagement and that's because the content is not good. And also there's only four. So my number one tip, if you're starting an Instagram account and you want to advertise on it, make sure that you have at least, I would say at least like 10 to 12 photos on the Instagram that are solid, that, you know, make sense, that are relevant um before you actually start advertising because you want to make it look like a page that's been around for a little while so if you only have four pictures like you know it's it doesn't look legit okay now i'm going to show you an example of a really really good watch page and that's daniel wellington okay now this is not a drop shipping store i'll show you another example of a drop shipping store after but i just like uh i mean for the layout it's very good okay because guys what we're trying to do with the drop shipping store is you're you have to build a brand you have to I mean, you can sell products all day, you can do whatever you want, but it's building a brand that allows you to, number one, uh, you know, gain more customers, number two, uh, you know, charge more for a product. Like, you know, they're selling the same watch. They can probably buy this watch for maybe like seven to ten dollars, okay? But they'll sell it for a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars because they've built a brand. They have 3.7 million followers um, and they build a brand around the luxury lifestyle, okay? So luxurious photo. Now look at this. They're all in some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of theme, and uh, especially if you're in the watch niche, fashion, um, you know, any sort of niche where where people are actually wearing a product, you want to make sure that it's uh, you got some lifestyle photos in there. So, like for example, this one, uh, this girl is having a ton of fun with her boyfriend and just happens to be wearing a watch. Okay, the watch isn't featured, but it's there. And people um, subconsciously think about it while they're, you know, while they're purchasing. So. You know, this girl's having a ton of fun with this watch on. Maybe, you know, it's something I should look at. And, uh, you know, to go further, people follow this page, Daniel Wellington, not just for watches, but they follow it because the content is good. You know, good quality photos all over the place. And it's just fun to look at. Okay. So here's a great example. Now, this next one, IB and Envy, is actually a dropshipping store that I know for a fact. This is a dropshipping store. Okay. But they have outstanding photos. As you can see, they're, they're doing the whole free watch thing but they have a good photo of a watch, another good photo of a watch, and they mix it up, okay? They have um, they have good content, like, you know, this is just, you know, a random photo, but they they kind of keep the whole hipster, photographer, you know, fashion kind of vibe, and everything is consistent, okay? So if you look down, another watch photo, another watch photo, but look, it's got, you know, the coffee glass in it, it's got, you know, it's, it's aesthetically nice, all that kind of stuff, so, how do you get photos like this? Well, uh, you know, I highly recommend buying the product yourself, which, you know, costs like what, two, three, five dollars max. Um, buy the product yourself and take photos of it yourself. Um, or if you can't take photos, find someone else that can because like literally everyone is a photographer these days. Okay. But uh, if you're, if you don't do that, you can probably just type it into Google and find like solid photos. Now, you might not be able to find a ton, but you might be able to find one or two. Um, that you can actually post on your Instagram, okay? So, the, the main point here is to make sure that you have solid, solid imagery. If you don't, people won't wanna follow it, okay? Let's move on to another example, Cloud Worldwide, okay? Again, four photos. They have bought followers, as you can see, 3,300 followers, because that's definitely not natural. 
Okay, but it doesn't matter if you only have four photos and the content's not good. Okay, they're getting good engagement probably just because they've you know run a bunch of ads. But the uh, yeah, I mean this this is just like stock photos of of the image with like something thrown in the background. Okay, as opposed to something like this Gaia stock, which is um, an art brand. Okay, they sell like tapestries, bag plus, like home decor, all that kind of stuff. And as you can see, they do have product photos so like this one product photo, product photo, you know, all this stuff is product photos, but it's super relevant and it's a good solid photo of the product, okay? It's not just, you know, this on a white background, but it's this with the couch, with the whole home decor, all that kind of stuff built in. And then occasionally they'll post something cool like this or like this dog photo or, you know, this house or whatever. And as you can see, 100,000 followers that they've got, and guys, they've only been around for like a year and a half, maybe two years, because um, I've been following them for a little while, but, yeah, so they have solid content and you know good engagement, 1,200, 1,300, uh, 13,000 likes. Um, so they get natural customers or organic customers just through their following. So that's another reason, like I said, to build a solid Instagram, okay? One more example um, and then we'll call it quits, but custom name necklaces, okay? These are huge nowadays and I see so many stores coming up and trying to sell these things, okay? But a lot of them are like this one, customnamenecklace.com with 89 followers following three people, okay? Doesn't look legit. But then you look down to the content and it's literally just like, uh, you know, stock photos of the, of the product. And you click on them and they're not even good quality stock photos. They're like all blurry and pixelated and stuff, okay? So, of course, nobody's gonna wanna buy through this because it just looks like a complete scam. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, we go over to a site called uh, Galaxy Swap. And they sell the exact same thing. They sell uh, name necklaces, right? But they have a, a unique marketing twist on it. They make everything into a meme. And these are actually all customer submissions, okay? They're people that have bought the product and uh, you know send photos of themselves. But check this out. So if I ever have the honor of wearing someone's name on my neck, they better not be playing games because I ain't taking it off, okay? Just like a funny meme, but you can see the uh, you know the name necklace featured there. You know, same here, this girl is obviously like super excited that she got this necklace on it, um, you know, and tons of comments. Look at all these comments that they're getting. Um, it's insane. And they actually use these for ads as well. I've seen them use them for ads. Um, but this is the kind of stuff that people want to follow. And as you can see, 65,000 followers, guys, they've only been around, they've only been promoting like super hardcore, I think, since like July, maybe August, something around there. So they built a following super fast because they built a brand around around this. And also having customer submissions really helps in, in terms of building a brand. But anyway, so hopefully these examples were helpful for you guys to be able to see and differentiate the, you know, between a good Instagram and a bad Instagram and why it's important to actually build up a good one and spend time. Because it does take time. I'm not gonna lie. It takes me maybe like I don't know, maybe a half an hour or so a day to actually maintain and keep up with the Instagram, but it's totally worth it. Cause like I said, I can post an ad and get two sales immediately, um, you know, just off of that ad. So if this video was at all helpful for you guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the like and uh, you know, the notification bell so you can be not notified as soon as we drop the latest video, which again is every single day. And also um, I'm starting up a new series uh, kind of about like the aesthetics and the whole design and branding of a dropshipping store because I think it's something that not a lot of people have been talking about and it's something that's very important. And actually, I, I really like it because I'm in the graphic design, that kind of stuff. Um, so uh, I'm starting a series on that. And the next one or one of the next ones I'm going to talk about is website design. So if you have a website that you want to get reviewed, um, go ahead and leave it in the comment below. And I'm going to pick one person to do a live review on a video. I'm um, thinking of doing this, uh, maybe one, two people. So if you have a website that you want reviewed, go ahead and leave it in the comments below and I'll check it out. So again, thanks for watching guys and like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning. Ooh.